Now the Harrisdale Arks are coming onto the field. Thanks for joining us here at Harrisdale, just below the Rangers. Near Armidale, a glorious afternoon, about 24 degrees. And the field are, here we go. From the top of the page, Avu wears one. Now Carney, Selwyn Carney wears 26. Tuiavi will wear the three. As the Coastal Cavaliers come onto the field for our first grade clash here this afternoon. We've got Adams on in five, all wearing Guernsey number eight. Burgess, the captain, Russell Burgess for the Harris Dale Arks. He's in seven. Ben Calder is six. Ryan Black, Fafida Tovu. That's Tommy Fafida Tovu, number 11. Kaharangi, Olsen Butler wears the 12. We've got Gillingham in 13. Avu in 14. Lomu in 15. Jamie Nixon wears the two. We've got Toki, Jobi, Tata, McStay. They'll be on the sideline. Tuakarani will go into the forward pack, number 22. And Fafita, he'll be the 5'8". Now the Coastal Cavaliers from the top of the page. Nuyu, Polo Nuyu, Jeffrey Ward, Egan, Townrow, Hendrik van der Hayden, number 5. Matthew Petherick is 6. Solomone Lequeo is seven. Gerard de Klerk. Griffiths wears the nine. Guernsey, number 16, is Cole. New Wenhuis. Blakey Tawati. Nicholas wearing the 10 for the Coastal Cavaliers. We've got Petherick. James Petherick wearing the 13. Dean Terrell in the 14. Brendan Steele wears the 15. Terra. Tariami, uh, yep. I'll get this right. My ARs. Terengia Moa, Rapatini, where's the Guernsey number 12? James Gardner goes in, on in the 17. Now a change to the uh, lineup. Alelo, Alelo comes in with Guernsey number 18 for the Cavaliers. Guys. Luke Petherick, Mika Tapulve. Just waiting for my ARs. And guys. on the sidelines, we've got. Puepu, Amay, Cameron, and Sims, Matt Sims, wearing number 22. Well, that's the lineup. I'm Mark Thompson. Thanks for your company out here at Harrisdale this afternoon. Looking forward to this first grade clash. In the thirds, Arcs 41 over the Coastal Cavaliers 15. The Coastal oh, Cavaliers dominated over the Arcs 46 to 19 in the reserves. Looking for a great first grade clash, clash, or clash rather. And here's the kickoff. Cavaliers to take the kickoff. Let's go onto the field. We've just been informed. We're waiting for the assistant referees. Alex, they're coming. They're coming now. There's one more. <laughs> Here they come. So yeah, it's, it's been a, a, a right? glorious yeah, afternoon. Yeah, you go far side then. You take far side. Arcs in the third grade. Cavaliers in the reserve grade. This is our first grade clash. Looking forward to this game. Your referee is Ian Sunderland. He holds the whistle. He'll take control of this game as the kickoff is about to occur. 
below the Darling Ranges, out near Armadale, in the south of the beautiful, most beautiful city in the world, Perth, oh, right, here in Western Australia. To to the start, so. yeah, game just finished, uh, out here in the suburb of Harrisdale, not far from where I grew up. And the kickoff about to occur. No, it'll be it'll be here in one minute. Here he comes now. A good crowd has formed here Already, Brian? out at Harrisdale. All right, Russell. New club rooms. It's a beautiful setup. Here's the whistle. Ian Sunderland gets them underway. It's a short kickoff. Arks take it. On the 30, they're in control. Tackle. Strong defence by the Cavaliers, making the trip up from Rockingham this afternoon. A good strong run there by Avu for the Arcs. Levi Avu, number one. He's come forward there. He's a big boy. And a scrum will go down just outside the 22. There. <laughs> inside the Harrisdale Arcs halfway. Okay, guys, as we discussed before, nice and steady. Okay? And from the word go, first scrum of the game. And the referee laying down the law now. Who's Crunch. going to feed the scrum? Bind. Cavaliers with it. Set. All about to be placed. One by the Cavaliers, comes out, sends it out to the back line. Cavaliers in control. Good overlap occurring. Out to the wing. Finds Tyrrell. Tyrrell gets tackled, taken to ground. Ball will switch back into play. There's the, there's the play. Finds Steele. Steele sends it out his back line. Finds Nicholson. In, for, in turn, finds his winger on the far side, and he finds touch. Good defence by the Arcs. 15 metres outside their own try line. And they will bring the ball back into play. Oh, but one by the Cavaliers. Nice intercept. They're in attack. They're on the 22, attempting to gain an overlap. And the ball goes to ground. All right, guys, been knocked on. Knocked on by the Cavaliers. Look like Petherick, number 13. Ball was knocked on, and, again, eh? and, again. and it'll be a scrum feed to the Arcs on their own 10. So they need to get the ball out of here. Dangerous territory for the Arcs. And the ball about to be fed. On me, Kev. Locks. Crouch. Bind. Ryan Black to feed the ball. Set. For the Arcs. Well, it's it's come back off the hooker. Both Not happy with the Cavaliers. First, penalty please. called. And the Arcs will kick for touch. Okay. Loose head pushing in. And he's saying they pushed in, which would have caused the scrum to turn, which it did. I need both sides going forward. And the referee, right? referee not happy. Ian Sunderland, the referee. No, you're a player. Now the ball goes down right on the 22. They didn't gain... They only gained about 12 metres. And the ball will come back into play. By the arcs. Knocked on. Now it's in favour of the Cavaliers. Scrappy play. Crouch! Bind! Okay, Cavaliers to feed the scrum. Ten metres out, referee please. not happy. Hookers are shoulder on shoulder. I want that gap, please. Referee lay down the law. Here's the scrum again. Crouch! 
minutes into this first half. No points as yet. Set. Ball about to be fed by They're in attack. There's the feed. Where's the ball? In favour of the Cavaliers. Sends it out to the back line. Knocked on. Now, knocked on by Cavaliers. Now, Arks get their chance to get the ball out of their half. You're not the captain. You're not the control, okay? And the scrum will go down. There's the mark. Ryan will feed the scrum. Yeah. For the arcs. Centre of the field. 15 metres out of their own try line. They need to do something here, Arcs. They're in dangerous territory, as I said. Set! Ball about to be placed. Black feeds the scrum. Comes out through the number eight. Ben Calder with it. He re releases the ball. Good defence by the Cavaliers. We're on the 22. Arcs with possession. Back out to the back line. Oh, up the middle. Nice run. He's got no support. Holding on. Now he's given oh, he a penalty. He was on it well before that, man. Number Your man six, was a bit Ben Calder, okay? with a good run up the middle for the arcs. Ball oh, goes down. Shot. Referee no, finds sorry, a no, penalty. No. And the Cavaliers so will get the kick. No, for that touch. was me. Sorry. I'm not sure what. The no, he was discussing. Was Here's the kick for touch. Just short of the 22. Cavaliers in attack. They'll bring the ball back into play. Six minutes gone. No score. Out here at Harrisdale. This is the premier grade. Or first grade as we originally knew it back in the olden days. Harrisdale Arks take on the Coastal Cavaliers. Ball brought back into play by Jeffrey Ward. And it looks like the Arks have come up with it. No, Cavaliers have got it. They're over the 22. They're in attack. Ball's released. Out to the back line. Finds Nicholson. Nicholson drops it. Knock on. Plenty of errors so far. Well. It's all been in the half, that of look at the Arcs. Look at and they really want to get out of this territory. Their chance now to take hey, that statistic one forward, in, okay. step further. With a scrum feed by Ryan Black. Referee calling the shots. Crouch! Crunch. Bind! Bind and set will be called. Black will feed the scrum. Here we go. On the 35. Scrum feeds. Gulder picked it up, sent it back to Ward. It's gone out to the back line now. We've got some speed here. Can they do something, the Arcs? They get to the 40. Player goes down, releases. Back out to the back line. Good hard hit. Nice run. Kaurangi, Olsen Butler, that is. Sends it out. Finds for feeder. Finds his back line in support. Just short of the halfway line. Arcs in control. Finds Calder. Up the middle. Goes down. Cavaliers no, no, defending strong. Ball knocked on advantage. Released. That's, that'll be a penalty of the Cavaliers. He failed to release. Holding yes. On. Holding on, he says. Well, Cavaliers with a penalty. Well, the Arcs managed to get the ball over the halfway line. It's been inside the Arcs half all this half so far. And we're only eight and a half minutes in. There's the kick for touch. Takes it back up to not quite the 22. About just past 35 metres. And the Cavaliers will bring the ball back into play. With the assistance of Jeffrey Ward. Brings it in. See what happens here. Cavaliers. With control. Feeds the back line through Griffith. Oh, and dropped by Nicholson, I think it was. And he's not happy with himself. 
I was just moving a couple of steps in field, guys. Scrum will take place just short we'll of the in 40. Just off that sand. And the scrum feed will be in favour of the Harrisdale Arcs. Black to feed the scrum for the Arcs. Bind! There's the bind called. Set! Here we go. Ball's fed. Looks like the Arcs have won. It comes out through the number eight, which is Galder. Calder. Swapping numbers this afternoon with his counterpart, Harrison Orr. Now they're on the 40, the Arcs. Out through the back line. Sends it out. Poor pass. Looking for the wing. Good defence by the Cavaliers. They're straight up on him. Good cover. Advantage. Goes down on the 30. Ark still in possession. There's the release. Goes out through for feeder. <whistles> now, now there was no advantage. The referee called something there and he's brought the penalty back They're in favour of the Ark. And the Arcs will send the ball up the field, see if they can make something of this. Glorious afternoon out here at Harrisdale. It's over the halfway line. So for the first time, the Arcs have pretty much taken the play into the half, that of the Cavaliers. And Jamie Nixon will bring the ball in. Jamie Nixon brings the ball in, number two for the Arcs. Scores a level. Here's the throw. That was a bit early. Nice, nice pass by Black. Big run up the middle. By Levi Avu. Levi Avu. He goes to ground at about the 40. It's released. Goes out to the far side of the ground. Arcs in control. They're over the halfway line. Up to the 40. Good run. Looks like Ryan Black, I think. He goes to ground. There's the release. Big hard hit. Kuarangi Olsen Butler. He goes down. Ball's released. Through Burgess, the captain for the Arcs. There's Black. Sends it out to the far side. Just inside touch. Brings the ball back. They're back on the 40. Good defence by the Cavaliers. Up the middle. That's what we like. There's the release. Oh, nice inside pass. Beautiful play, Burgess. Good hard hit. Arcs in control. They're on the 30. They've come up with it. Good run for Fida Tovu. Tovo. They're on the 40. Arcs in control. Looking to do something with this. Went to Vafida. Goes out to the wing. Kick. That's Ball right. goes down, but it's kicked. Cavaliers pick it up. They're on the 30. Now Cavaliers in control. So the Arcs need to defend. They need to bring their defence up and create cover. Knock on. This is something now. For the Arcs. Knock on by Blue. Sorry, Brian, I didn't hear you that other time. Big number one, Palo knew you. And he wasn't happy about it. Yeah, it's just and the ball's quiet. knocked on right on the 22. Arcs will feed the scrum, see if they can make something of this. Okay, let's go, please, Blue. Harris Dale Arcs. I'll turn up my At home the to the Coastal Cavaliers. In the third grade, Arc 41 f over the Coastal Cavaliers 15 Five. in the reserve grade. Cavaliers Set. 46, Arcs 19. Now Arcs in attack. Black to feed the scrum. On the 22. <laughs> Penalty Number to the one. Arcs. This could be the Not first point of the game. And they'll take they'll take the three. Points, please. First points on the board may go to the Harrisdale Arcs. We'll see what happens as the kick Apologies, guys. will now take place.
Huh? There must be a fine, eh? Is that what? That's a fine. Why are you guys standing in the bus? Get out! And the kick about to, to take place. And I'm just trying to see who it is kicking. What number? I can't pick it up. Tommy Fafita Tovo, number 11. First points on the board. So it's 3 0. Harrisdale Arcs over the Coastal Cavaliers. First points on the board. First blood to the Arcs. And we're 15 minutes in to this first half clash of the Premier Premier Grade. Or first grade as we used to know it. Short kickoff. Well taken. Three. Don't move to block. Don't. Aye, uh, blocking. Don't move to block Dangerous play by the uh, Harrisdale Arcs. They didn't need that. And they've now given the advantage with that penalty Obstruction. to the Coastal Cavaliers. Obstruction called by referee Sunderland. Kicks for touch and sends it up to about the 15 metres. So dangerous territory for the Harrisdale Arcs as the Coastal Cavaliers now move up to the 15 metres and they're automatically in attack with the throw to take place. Here's the throw. Arks come up with it. Out there, blue. Goes to ground by the big fella, Levi Avu. Ave, it might be. Ave, I think. Now it comes out. It's released. Arks taking it up the middle. Take a few meters. They need to gain an overlap here as it goes out through the back line. Back up through the middle. Good run. Nice run there by the big fella, Gershon Adams. He's had a few good hard hit-ups already. Arks get the ball, kick it up the field. They move it to about the 30. And it'll be a ball in by the Coastal Cavaliers. 30 metres out of the Harrisdale Arks try line. Let's See if they can gain an intercept here. Throwing about to take place. There it is. Coastal Cavaliers come up with it on the Can't far side now. of the field. Here's the release. Cavaliers in attack. There's the release. Pass made. Sends it out the back line. Via Nicholson. And Nicholson sends it on to... Yes. Rapatini it was. Release, please. For the Cavaliers and he goes down. And the Arcs penalised for not releasing and a dangerous spot. He may take the points. See what, no. Hey, Going shot for call. goals. Yes. Well, the Cavaliers now a chance to equal the score with 17, coming up to 18 minutes into this first half clash of the Premier, Premier Grade, Premier League. Game Harrisdale Arcs versus the Coastal Cavaliers. If you're just joining us, Arcs lead three, three nil over the Cavaliers, and the Cavaliers with a penalty. About 28 metres, I'd say, out right in front, and the kick to come. Coastal Cavaliers looking to equal the points, and the flags go up. And Matthew Griffith with the three points. Three all. Arcs three. Cavaliers three. Coming up 19 minutes gone of this first half. So we're halfway through the first half just about. And the Arcs will kick off. See what their tactics are here. So far, a very entertaining first half, 20 minutes in. There's the kick. Down to about, just short of the 22. Oh, good hard run by the fella, the big fella. Can't quite pick up his number. 
Cavaliers go down 30 metres out of their own try line. Trying to run the ball up the middle. The Arcs need to defend. There's the release. Out through the back line, through the offside, back up through the middle. Ball's there. And brought into play by Griffiths. He sends it to one of his forwards. Looks like New You. Step. Townrow gets it. He passes it on. Cavaliers in control. There's the release through Griffith. Strong in the play. Nice hard hitting run. They're on the halfway line, the Cavaliers. Through Town Row again. Sent out by Griffith. Trying to get over the halfway line. Arks defending with strength. There's Petrick. Matthew Petrick. There's a few of them out there for the Cavaliers. Nicholson. Nicholson kicks. Intercepted. Adams sends it out through Burgess. Looking for his back line. Orr's got it. Orr sends it out further. Finds for Fida Tovo. Now the Arcs are over the halfway line. They're in attack. Looking to gain an overlap. Nice back line work. Up through the middle they go. Still on the halfway line, the Arcs. Sends it out looking for the winger. Finds Adams. He's a big boy, good hard hitter. Nice defensive play by Town Road for the Cavaliers. And he wears a whack and he goes down. Strong game so far. Finds Burgess. Burgess goes out to his back line. Good defence by the Cavaliers. Puepu Amei. Good defensive play by the Cavaliers. Now the Arcs in control. Up to the 40. There. Referee in control. Good play by the Arcs. Nice play by Burgess. Right. It's gone forward, guys. <laughs> time off. Now the referee's called time off. Injury, guys. Russell Burgess, the captain for the Arcs, having a good game. Getting right into the thick of things. As to his Gershom Adams. You all right, mate? There's some strong plays out there for the Arcs. In turn, there's some very strong okay, plays mate. for the Cavaliers. Nice game, okay, this. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Clock stops at 22 minutes. Of course, the monitor you're viewing, the clock keeps going, but the referee has okay, called time he's off. On. He's allowed for drinks to come on. Okay, time on, guys. Yeah, good Water play on, there by the Arcs. They gained a bit of ground. Yeah, right. The Cavaliers came in strong, and the knock-on took place. The ball stopped. Cavaliers will feed the scrum right on their own 40. Oh, you got to keep Game back up, on. Hey? Yeah. Good entertainment so far. If you've joined us, Harrisdale Larks in the red and white. Coastal Cavaliers in the navy blue. The deep dark navy blue colours. A shade of purple there. Making the trip up from Rockingham here to Harrisdale today. Just below the Darling Rangers out near Armidale. And the whistle blows. In favour of the Arcs. Not happy. Not happy with um, Palo New Yu. Back ten, please. You are. First he said he's, he's he's doing he's doing something in there, and um, the arcs will take the tap. Here we go. Arcs in attack. Good strong run. Jamie Nixon, it was. Now through for feeder. Salu for feeder finds the wing, knocked on, and he's saying that. Sorry, Brian, I can't hear what you're yeah. saying at all. It's just all muffled. Deliberate knock forward called. Back ten, please. And there's the penalty. Arcs again. Now, now, back ten. He hasn't happened? played the ball deliberately. He was putting it on the ground, now, mate, and stopped it with his foot. He's doing. He's going to play the tap. Here we go. Out the black. 
Back in turn finds Adams. Adams goes up the middle. He finds Fafida. Out of there, please. Get around, get around, get around, get around. Black again. He goes Avu. Levi Avu. Levi Avey, I think it is. Ryan Black has been right in the thick of things. Release and the now. arcs automatically on the 10 in attack. Come back. To, oh, bad pass, but they're still in control. Hold it, hold it. Olsen Butler. The ball switches back in. I'm not sure who he found. All right, guys, unintentional. And it looked like a forward pass, but an unintentional forward pass, of course. So a scrum will go down, and it'll be a Cavaliers feed. Well, the Arcs had a chance there to prevail. They got That's close, good. up to about the 10. But now the Cavaliers need to work to get the ball out off. of their half. Red two, red three, off substitutions. So, number 16. Uh, number three as well. Number 16, Haki Toki to come on. Number 26, Selwyn Carney will go off the field for the Arcs. And we have two substitutions. Jamie Nixon's coming off. Number two. And Tuiavi will go on. Number three, Hemi Tuiavi. Hemi Tuiavi's coming off, sorry. Set! I've been informed. So Hemi Tuiavi coming off the field. Now the ball's been fed. Cavaliers win the scrum. Kick taken. Finds touch on the 30. So the Arcs will bring the ball back into play. See if they can make something of this. 30 metres out okay, yeah, no the try line. That of the Coastal Cavaliers. Nice throw. Arcs in control. On the far side of the field. Up the middle. Goes the big number five. Adams. Here's Calder. Number six. Falls down. Released. Nelly Olvey. Advantage. Takes the ball down on the 22. Arcs in attack. Have they still got the ball? I'm, I think Coastal, yes, they've come up with it, the Cavaliers. Intercepted. No, referee not Red happy. Holding on. Well, Harrison all came up with the ball. No referee blew his whistle. He was heading Back for the try hands. line. He had Burgess in assistance. And the whistle was blown. The Coastal Cavaliers will take a penalty kick. They'll gain some ground. Ball's up to about the halfway line, just short. 45 metres. Five metres short of the halfway line. Throw will take place right in front of injury. us. You can hold that mark for me, please, Brian. 27 minutes gone. 27 and a half minutes gone. Or we work our way up to the 28 minute mark. Yeah, okay. Arcs three. Coastal Cavaliers three. Sub, so two penalty game. goals have been scored by both sides. Three all. Ball about to be brought into play. Yes, time off. By Jeffrey Ward. Is a matter of Referee called made? time off because it's a substitution. Two. Now who's going off here? I'll just take okay. note of this. Time on. Looks like number number twenty. Numbers please blue. Mika. To pay, uh, Tapuve. Yeah, that's fine. Jeffrey Ward with the throw. Oh, Arcs have picked it up. And the big fella. Selwyn Carney with a chance. He sends it out through for feeder. Ball goes up the middle. Looks like the big number five. Gershon Adams. Now, they've got the ball over the halfway line. They're in control, the Arcs. Forty-five metres. Aiming their way. There's Burgess. Nice step. He goes down. to short of the 40. Picked up by Fafida. Is in there. So is Black. That's fine. 
Gershom Evans on the halfway line. No, leave it, leave it. Releases. Referee's right there. Ball's released by Black. Big Roll. run, Hucky Tucky. Advantage. Number 16. Roll, please, Blue. Out to the back line, far side of the field. Blue. Where is it? Blue not rolling. Roll, please. So the whistle's blown. We're on the halfway line in favour. Stop here. So Sion Lamu. And the tap will take place. Middle of the field. Arve takes it up. Big Levi Arve, number one for the Arcs. Ball comes out through Black. Calder, up the middle. Burgess is in there assisting. So is Black. He'll take the ball out of the ruck. Goes back to Arve. Levi Arve, good metres. Arcs in control. Back to Burgess. He's everywhere, the big red-headed fella. Ball goes down. Good run by Black. They're on the 22, the Arcs. Can they do something? Cavaliers defending with everything they have knock on. So the Cavaliers will feed the scrum. Chance now for the Cavaliers to get there. the ball out of the half. The Arcs will need to defend to keep this game. They look like they, they were controlling it for that moment, and um, they look good. Yeah, we can take a step this way. The Aristyle Arcs. Referee will pack a scrum. 35 metres out of the Coastal Cavaliers try line, about 15 metres from the halfway line. And the ball will be fed by the Cavaliers. Crouch! Fine! Calling it. Nice crowd here at Harrisdale this afternoon. Advantage. Now it collapsed the scrum, but the referees let it go. And the Cavaliers have come up with it. And lead back. Looks like Griffith, who had the ball. No, it wasn't Griffith. It was Van der Hayden the for the, the Cavaliers. Red Luther had now, no there was an advantage to the Cavaliers. Referee yeah, wasn't Red happy. No. And he's brought the, uh, the uh, no advantage gain, he says. So he brings the penalty back to where the scrum was. And kick for touch will take place for the Cavaliers. There's the kick, nice punt. Straight up to about the, tw where are we? Just short of the 22. Good metres gained. One, it was actually 26, not you, okay? Good metres gained there by the Cavaliers Sorry. and they're now automatically in attack. Just keep your bind, please, okay? Through the kick of Matthew Griffith for the Cavaliers. And the ball will be brought back into play through Jeffrey Ward and the Cavaliers in attack. See if the Arcs can intercept here. Cavaliers in control. Griffith sends it out. Nicholson. Nicholson regains the ball. Sends it out through Steele. Steele finds his winger. I think the Arcs have picked it up, no? Turnover's good. Yeah, turnover. Arcs have picked the ball up. There's the kick. Cavaliers strong. They've come up with the ball, the Cavaliers. They're 10 metres out. Sloppy play, knocked on. Still sent it out to Townrow, Jacob Townrow, and he knocked the ball on for the Cavaliers. Right on the 22, a scrum will go down, and the feet will be the yeah, arcs. Well, the Cavaliers, they created an overlap there. They look strong in attack. Marks there. And the arcs had to get in there and defend. So far... She's a pretty even game. Arcs throw everything at the Cavaliers. In turn, the Cavaliers throw it back at the Arcs. We're now on the 22. Arcs win the scrum. They're in control. Benny Calder up the middle. Nice step. Sends it to the 40. And he releases. Good release. Lomu with it. He picks it up. Takes it up to the 45. 
released. Black gets it and tries to send it up through the halfway line. Well, no. Well, big Selwyn Carney in there assisting the ruck. Ball goes down. James Petherick picks it up. He looks a bit too small for big Gershom Adams. Now they've picked it up, Cavaliers. They're automatically in attack. They get it to the 22 through the assistance of Dean Tyrrell. Now the ball goes out through the back lines. Fine Rapatini in turn goes all the way out to the far side of the field. The Cavaliers on the 22. Leave it now. Good run by Tawati for the Cavaliers. Now the ball comes back. Cavaliers, 15 metres out. Tackle! Arcs need to defend. Cavaliers in control now. Oh, they're red. Ball goes back out to the near side. This could be a try. They're close to the line. Oh, it looks like it's been dropped. Referee says okay. Cavaliers in attack through New You. Zach Nicholson playing a big part. Ripping the tackle. Nice defence by the Arcs. I'm not sure who that player was who's come up with it, but the Arcs have got possession. They're on their own try line. They need to get the ball out. Cavaliers coming in with defence. Nice, how do you do? Good offload to Burgess. Burgess takes it up the middle. Calder finds it off Burgess Advantage and automatically the, the Arcs are on the 40 and with possession. Olsen Butler, Advantage he passed the ball out. Now we've gone out to the wing, tries to find touch and they did so. Tommy Fafita Tovu with a good run, but his touch. foot went out. Did you flag out or touch? Oh, touch. Just touch, guys. And the ball was found touch, touch through Fafita okay. Tovu, number 11. But gee, good Touch run. Good play there by the Arcs. Good attacking. Off. That's okay. Referee stops the clock. No, no. We're playing touch. We're 36, coming up 37 minutes. Right, flag out. Okay. Only about five minutes to half time now. Time I on. Think. He calls time on. Here we go. Now the Cavaliers will bring the ball back in through Jeffrey Ward. Coming up half time, three all the score. Great game this. Very even. There's the throw. Cavaliers control. Through Griffith. Sends it out to his back five. line. Red. Now we've got an advantage to the Cavaliers. Yeah, red Comes up through Rappatini. He goes to ground. We're about, about here. Referee red not back happy. line offside. Right on the halfway line. About here, Arcs offside. Cavaliers kick for touch. Matthew Griffith will take the kick for the Coastal Cavaliers. Willie Van Dyke and Jeff McClellan are the coaches for the Coastal Cavaliers this afternoon. And always too, I assume. Yeah, sure. And Griffith sends the ball down to about the 30 and Ward will bring the ball back into play for the Coastal Cavaliers. Arcs need to defend. Cavaliers in attack, see what happens here. Ball in play. Cavaliers strong. Oh, there. Big Selwyn Carney in there. Strong in defence, the big fella. Cavaliers, good run by Palo Nuyu. Ball comes out. Oh! Now, what's he called there? Hendrik van der Hayden come up with the ball for the Cavaliers. He goes down. Finds Nicholson. Nicholson, in turns, fine Rapatini. Okay. Arcs might be penalised here. Ball goes red. back to the blind side. Can't quite see the play. And it goes down. Cavaliers still in control. Okay, I've got foul play report. Time off. Referee's called time off. We're not far okay, from just, just one, half time. One second. What's that? Blue back. Blue back. Please. Red back, please. 
Okay. Verbal abuse from a player from the bench. Mm -hmm. Verbal abuse yep. from the bench. The assistant referee's called by the sounds of it. Red. Yep. And a penalty against Red. the arc. Yep. So okay. that looks like the Coastal and the Cavaliers will get a penalty on the 22. Okay. And we'll see what they do. Just in from touch. On a bad okay. angle for the goals, but I'd Red say... Bench. Coast with. Yeah, referee not happy. Yep. Okay. So we have this man abusing the switch judge. That is he totally calls the head coach, right. Paul King, up. So we're going to be restarting with a penalty against you. Can you move him from the sideline, please? So we get a penalty against us for what's said uh, on the sideline? Can you please remove this from man from the bench? From the bench yes. to play, not play? Yes, he's abused the touch judge, okay? So what's that? Like, that's like a red I'm card. asking you to, re yes, off the field. Now he's moved a player from the field. So this player, if he's removed from the field, Russell. he won't be allowed to play by the looks of it. We have abuse. I'm not sure who the player field. is. So we're restarting with a penalty. My, my yeah, view yeah, is okay. obstructed, so I can't no. see a thing no. from here. I can hear the referee. He's informed coach Paul King to have a player removed from the bench okay, back for abuse. So there is a penalty. Now, has he called time on? There was abuse from the bench of the Arcs. So Griffith to take the kick. And he sends it down the field to about 10 metres out. So Coastal Cavaliers, if they can control the ball here, they might be a chance. Ward will bring the ball back into play. Great half. As we draw, red, draws to a red, close. Holding red, holding red. And he's found holding a penalty red. to the Arcs. Well, chance to prevail for the Arcs. There's the kick up to about the 30. Have a word with your so Arcs will bring the throw in. Yeah, you, okay. Great first half. Big Selwyn Carney to throw the ball in. Number 26 for the Arcs. Strong defender, the big fella. Here's the throw. There it is. And they control it, the Arcs. Leave it, leave it. Trying to see who it is. Burgess was in there. Arcs in control through Black. Now through for Feeder. Up the middle, looks like Adams. Lomu, number 21. He goes down on the 30. Back here. No advantage gain. And the Arcs will kick for touch. Penalty. Hands in the rock. Hands in the ruck call. Coastal Cavaliers, hands in the ruck. Gains about 10 metres. Ball will come into play. Three. So when Carney yeah, will late, probably bring the throw in. The first and then onto the ball. Now the arc's in attack, trying to bring the ball up to the halfway line. 42 minutes, but the time, the clock was stopped several times, so we are close to half time now. Here's the throw. Arc's in control. Black's got it. Goes straight up through the ruck. That of the Cavaliers goes to ground. Ball comes out. Fafita Tovu. Sends it out to his back line. Finds Burgess. It's not Burgess. There's Fafita. Conrad Gillingham, number 13 in there. Selwyn Carney, the big boy. Goes down on the halfway line. Black picks it up. Oh, Calder couldn't take it. Advantage with a knock on. There's the Advantage kick over. down the field. Bulls finds touch. 22 metres out of the arcs half. Uh, the arcs are uh, try line. So it'll come back minutes. into play. Yeah. Now, he said nine minutes. I'm sure the referee said nine minutes, but the clock says 43. So with the extra time... He's, I think there might be an error here. He, I know he stopped three times, so you'd, you'd probably want to add four or five minutes onto that, but wow. Anyway. Go, Harry, go, Harry, or... 
Good run. Harrison Orr with the run. No, he's not on the ball. Up towards the halfway line. There's Black. Black in turn finds Fafita. In turns finds Adams. Adams sends it out to the far side of the field. We've got some speed. That winger. The ball comes back through Calder. Adams. Black. Burgess. Levi Arvey. Oh, good 15 metres. Goes to ground. Good run. Geez, strong play for Feeder. Out to the back line. Goulder. Average pass. Goes to ground. Gone forward. Blue ball. Nelly Ave out there on the wing. He would have been off and gone. How do you have got that? Off the yeah, pass what of do you have? Calder. But uh, ball goes I to ground. What do you have, Brian? 22 metres out of the try line, that of the Cavaliers. Eight minutes. And I've just heard the referee say eight minutes. Now, that'd be cause through stoppage time, of course. As I said, we have a clock on the monitor that just keeps ticking what down. What do you have, Brian? And the scrum Coach. pack right on the 22 of the Cavaliers. Fine. 22 metres out from their try line. They will feed the scrum. Through Griffith. Sends it out. Kick up the field. Lomu to pick it up. Wants to beat the defence. Trying to beat the fence of Rapatini for the Cavaliers. Now he's looking to release. Looks red like ball. Nah, red come out, black comes out with it for feeder. Olsen Butler up the middle with a good run. Sends it back to black for feeder. There's the big fella. Levi Avu. Avey. Now there's a run. Good run there by Fafita Tovu. Gershom Adams. With the assistance of Burgess. Black's there. So too is Calder. Fafita. Hakitoki. Good run. Loses the ball. Halfway line. Scrum will feed. Actually, half time, guys. Yeah, I thought the referee got it wrong. He's just had a good look oh, at his clock. Long time, mate. And he went over by a minute or so. Yeah, no, yeah. And he's called it half time, but no harm done. Well, there's oh, the no, half time here yeah. out at Harrisdale, uh, just below the hills of the Rangers down here in Armadale. Good first half, very strong. Harrisdale Arks 3, Coastal Cavaliers up from Rockingham today. Three, three all. Great first half. Very strong in play. New you for the Cavaliers. He's had a lot of play. So too has Petrick, the Petrick boys. De Klerk, Griffith has been in everything. Nicholson, uh, strong in play. Tyrrell, Steele with good runs. Uh, yeah, good play by the um, Cavaliers. They've been strong in attack, strong in defence. But as too as the Arcs. Ave, very strong. The big fella, Carney, he's been strong. Or Burgess, Calder's been everywhere. Black's right in the thick of it. So too is Fafita Tovo. Uh, Lomu's been good in the back line. And uh, good plays also by um, f uh, the other Fafita, Sola Fafita. Yeah, good, good, good game all up. Three all. <laughs>
me or when you're ready, just... Okay, we're back here at Harrisdale. Three all. Harrisdale Arcs. Okay. Coastal Cavaliers. You just, you just Three your own all. Sure you're just Great there. first yeah. half. Very strong. We'll see what happens. Looking forward to the second half. The kickoff about to take place. The Arcs will kick off to the Cavaliers. This is the second half of our Premier League clash here at Harrisdale this afternoon. Let's go to the field now. Burgess to kick off against the Coastal Cavaliers. Now, I said they've made the trip up from Rockingham. It's actually a combined side, Mandarin and Rockingham, so I do apologise. Okay, hold blue, hold and seven. And the Cavaliers have immediately kicked for touch through Zach Nicholson, it looked like. I wasn't sure who the player was that kicked it. It looked like number 10. But he's worked the ball up to about the... 45 metre, and the Arcs will bring the ball back into play. Not sure who, who kicked it, but it was two. It was number 10, Zach Nicholson. Anyway, Arcs with the ball on the 40. Oh, back. hard right. hit, but he's dropped it. And the Cavaliers have come up with it. Now the Cavaliers in attack. Good hard play. Oh, intercepted. Well played. Oh. Nelly Ave, number 14. Now Black comes up with it. Salu Fafida. He's led the backs today, having a great game. Here's a good run. Now Fafida Tovo was up the wing. Good, good, good gain. Here we go. Arcs in attack. Putting it to the Cavaliers. They're creating cover in defence. They look good, the Cavaliers. Advantage, in turn, the Arcs with attack. Levi Ave, he's been strong. Black sends it back out to Fafida. Burgess, the good hard hit. Great tackle there. Cavaliers defending for dear life. Solomon Lakio with a great tackle there on Burgess for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers holding. Holding them. They're on the 10. Here we go. Harrison Orr. He's had a few good well runs done. today, Orr. Oh, Arcs in attack. The ball's gone down. Penalty the Arcs. Brings it back. Now right in front of the post. Number 20. Offside. Okay, he's called number 20. Mika Tupave. Uh, was offside for the Cavaliers. And a tap. They're going for the tap, I think. Black to take the tap. They look confident. Here's the run. Calder. Is it Calder? Yes. No, that was Orr, sorry. Levi Ave, he's over! Great try! Number one, Levi Ave. He's played a strong game. He's taken this ball up time after time. And now, 10 yards out, the Arcs with the ball through Levi Ave over the try line. <coughs> First try on the board. Three minutes into the second half. Harrisdale Arcs, eight. Coastal Cavaliers, three. Kick to come. Levi Ave. Gee, he's been strong. As I said earlier, Sola Fafida, strong in the back line, leading his defence. I don't think I've seen a bad pass by the guy. Very strong in the back line. Burgess has led the guys proud as a captain so far. He's been very strong. And now the kick to come. Here we go. Eight-three. Now, Cavaliers to kick off. Tommy Fafita Tovu with the attempted kick, and it failed. Here's the take. Nice take. 
number 12 no it was. Now. Olsen Back. Butler. Back! Comes down with the ball on the 30. Yeah, mate, the ball didn't go that far, so I'm just going to let it go. Arks with the ball. In attack. Cavaliers, they want to keep them up here. They look dangerous at this point. When they send it out to that back line... Now they bring it back towards the field. Centre of the field. Ark still in attack. Cavalier, strong defence. Black with it. He's been good today. Cavaliers. Strong defence by Petrick, James Petrick. And Rapatini for the Cavaliers. Very strong in defence. He's a good run. Now that's a strip there by uh, De Klerk for the Cavaliers and they come up with the ball. Now the ball goes down. Cavaliers now in attack. Through Griffith. Griffith sends the ball out to Puapu Imei. Mika Tupave, number 20 for the Cavaliers. Strong in defense and in attack. Ball goes down. Lakio. Release him. He goes down. Cavaliers now in attack. 30 meters out. Arks need to defend. Out through Newell Wenhuis, number 16 for the Cavaliers. Leading Take the back line right. there at that point. Nuyu for the Cavaliers. Ball goes down. Matthew Petrick. Good run, good defence. Arks, strong in defence. Tui Avi with a good tackle for the Arks. Now the ball goes straight out to the back line. Looking for Fafita Tovu on the wing. He goes down. Arks in control. Up to the 40. Through Burgess. Back through the middle. Fafita. He's been brilliant today. Have a look at him go. Or is it? It's Lomu it is. Lomu, number 21, up the middle. Good metres. He's gained about 30. They're on the 22. Arks in control. The Cavaliers need to get back to defend. Out through Burgess. Burgess looking for the wing. Away again. Arks created the overlap. Too strong. They score. Oh, the big fella again. And it's the big fella, Gershom Adams, number five this time. That was a great try. Very entertaining. How about Lomu up the middle? He just, he gained the, um, he broke the defence on the 40. Stepped through two. I think he went through about five players. Sent the ball up to the 22. Ball went back out. And in came Gershom Adams. And the Harrisdale Arks score again. Taking it to 13. They're now in control. Kick to come. Through... The winger there, that's Tommy Fafita Tovu with a kick from the 22. Not far from the post, about 10 metres in, in, on an angle. Here's the kick. He stabbed that better, goes across again, but he's missed. Well, someone yelled out, you need to kick them, Tommy, and I think you do because that Charles, wasn't you a guys real are getting a bit one, lazy getting back on side, okay? But a couple of times where we've been yeah, able to play here's the ref having it. a go at uh, not, having a go today. at the um, Coastal Cavaliers, saying that they're uh, slow in getting back on the defence. So it's the Harris Dale Arks 13, the Coastal Cavaliers 3. Exciting game. The crowd's enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Kicks taken. We're on the 40, and the ball's taken by Olsen Butler, and he goes down. Arks in control. Coastal Cavaliers needing to defend. Good hard hit, but he goes down, Arve, and he dropped the ball. Levi Arve, number one, goes down with the ball. Now a scrum will take place. 35 metres out of the try line of the arcs, and this could be a chance for the Coastal Cavaliers to bounce back. We're nine minutes into this first half, uh, second half, rather. The first half, three all. Harris Dale Arcs and Coastal Cavaliers. And now it's 13 points to three. 
Let's go, Ox! Get the call on. And so far, a very entertaining second half. Crouch! Bind! Up, guys. We're shoulder on shoulder again. Talk about the referee not immediate. happy with that. Scrum. Hookers. Let's have a space. Okay? 35 metres. 15 metres in from the halfway line. Coastal Cavaliers feeding Same the scrum. Again, Lux. Same again. Let's go. Let's fucking go. From Matthew Griffith. Get that call. Get that call. Lock. Crouch. Six. All about to be played Bind. by Griffith for the Cavaliers. A combined Set. side, both Mandra and Rockingham. I did say up from Rockingham. I do apologise. But they're, bo they're up from both Mandra and Rockingham. A combined side. Strong club too. Some great players in their, in their club. That of the Coastal Cavaliers. And now they're in attack. Up the middle. Tackle. Oh, good run. That's Nuyu. For the Cavaliers. He's been strong today. Ball's gone down. Black came up with it. He's kicked it. It's down to the 22. Tawahati to pick it up. He picks it up. Steps. Down by Black. Now he has support. Van der Hayden with it. He goes down just past the 22. Releases. Cavaliers in control now. I think the Arcs might have been. They went forward a bit early there, but the defence is strong. Good run by Rapatini for the Cavaliers. They want to take him out. That's De Klerk. <laughs> Penalty. This time he, hasn't, back. he hasn't said anything yeah. yet. Now there is a penalty. Don't kick it like that on the floor, okay? Kick it. Don't oh. kick it like that when you're on the He thought back it was 10. a bit dangerous there. Yeah. Penalty. Playing it on the ground. Well, he didn't like the way the ball was was kicked there by Nelly Ave. And the penalty. So it comes up to about two metres inside the halfway line. Sorry? And the Coastal Cavaliers will bring the ball back into play through Jeffrey Ward. F five men. Five men. Five men. Five. Here's five. the throw. Arcs 13. Coastal Cavaliers 3. There's the throw. Picked up by Ward. He kicks. Looking for assistance by Matthew Petherick who runs up the field. Number 21 with the ball, that's Lomu. He goes down in the middle of the field, he releases. No, let it Coastal come, Cavaliers let it looking to defend. No, they want to keep the arcs up here. And a penalty to the arcs. Overplayed the ruck. Yes. Overplayed the, uh, their defence. And the kick, will, kick for touch will take place. Twelve and a half minutes. As your man. Into this right first half. Onto the Very ball. entertaining game, this. There's the kick. Finds the 40. Sola for feeder with the kick. Numbers and he right. it up to the 40. Numbers, numbers, numbers. <laughs> You're running straight in and not in time to adjust. I, I spoke to you before about before the game about it. So now he's called the scrum. Substitution. Here we go. At least give them time to adjust. Now there's a player going off. I didn't quite catch his number. Sorry. It is number six. Matthew Petrick is off. For the Coastal Cavaliers, and I didn't see who came along. I think it was Aleo, Aleo, Alelo, Alelo. Sorry, number 18, Alelo, Alelo, for the Coastal Cavaliers. Ball about to be fed by Griffith for the Cavaliers. They look like they've won the scrum. They have out through their back line. He finds Nicholson, who runs it up. In turn, gets it to Tawati. He's had a good game, Tawati. So too is Nicholson, mind you. Counter rook is good. Don't, guys. Gee, don't. that's a tough ruck, I tell you. Release him. Now he's calling release. Arcs are throwing everything at them. They've come up with the ball, and we've got a scrap. Did you get a number, Brian? Well, I'm not sure who started that, but Bird just wanted to get in on it. Now, who went yeah, to the I ground? I missed the first two who went to the ground, but there was a bit of a scrap Show. there. But Show. 
the boys want to so play. Time off. Now, the referee's called time off, and we're at 14 and a half minutes. There. I haven't got a number, okay? Yeah. You guys need to cut out those he's penalties or someone's going to go on the He's chatting right. to the captain. Yeah, have a chat with him. Just uh, time, nine. Nine, time. Zach Nicholson, it Just is, one second. Number 10. No, okay. it's not. It's number 16. Time on. One more here. One more here. Carl Nguyenius. Nguyenius. Hold that. Hold. He's been strong in defence. Nguyenius. Charles, his name is. Advantage. He's moved himself out to the wing. The Arcs have got the ball. Good run. Have a look at that. Olsen Butler straight up the middle for the Arcs. He comes to ground. Now penalty to the Arcs and he'll bring it back, I think. Time because off. Charles. Time off called. And he's 18. Could be 18. a card. Oh, here we go. Always want to have a scrap. Red back. Back. Jamie Nixon back. in there. Number back. two, I think it is. Back. Back. Jamie Nixon with a push and a shove Child, for the arts. 18. Child. But nothing of 18, it. 18, please. Now he's calling over number 18. He's not happy with a Lalo. A Lalo. you two minutes yeah, no. beforehand. That's a stupid penalty. And he's sent him off. No, we're back in. A Lalo. A Lalo has been on the field. He's been on the field two minutes. Here. And he said, I warned back, you earlier. But the mark is there. Give me, one, give me one minute. I'm yeah, confused. Off, okay? Anyway, he was sent from the field. And the Arcs will take the penalty. Three minute, uh, three metres, three to four metres inside their Come own on. half. So a Lalo, a Lalo. Sent from the field. And it's brought up now by no Alison hands. Butler again. Geez, had some good hit-ups today. Here's a good run. Levi of A. He's been very strong. Already with a try. Arcs with the ball. Up to the 22. They're in control. Cavaliers, they need to defend. They need to hold them out. Arcs are in strong control here. The ball goes out through for Fida. Lomu, he's been good today. Looking to find the winger. Nelly Avey goes in for assistance. They're strong. Oars in there. Finds Black. Black in turns find Olsen Butler. No again. hands! He's been up the middle all day, Olsen Butler. He's had good meterage. Black. Avu. Now, he sent the ball. Off to Tuiavi it was. And he's out finding the wing. Good Advantage run. Five. Oh, look at them. The arc's over. Through Burgess, the captain. Gee, strong. Arc's dominating now. Yeah, that player up the wing was Tommy Fafita Tovu with a run up the wing. Gee, their back line's been strong today, the arcs. And Burgess finishing off with the try, the captain. Sorry? I had advantage. And he gets his first try for the game. 18-3 with a kick to come. Who's taking the kick? It's Fafita Tovu. Tommy Tafita Tovu with a kick. He's had a few chances today, Tommy. See how he goes with this one. So the Coastal Cavaliers, the chins have dropped. I'm sure they'll uh, talk, talk, talk amongst themselves here and try and create something. There's still time. We're up to 18 and a half minutes in with some extra time. There's the kick. Oh, he's hit the post. Well, he got closer. He's hit the post. Flags are down. No score. Score remains. Arcs, 18. Coastal Cavaliers, 3. So three all at half time. 15 points in the second half to the Arcs. They've dominated the second half, and it's very strong by them. Time check. Now, time number 18, minutes. Will Joe Bay has come on. And number two, Harris Tuakarani has gone off, number 22. Oh, yes. So Will Jobe, number 18, on for the arcs. Okay, so the yellow was for reprise of infringements, okay? Yeah, uh, just hands 
Yeah, it was offside. He was yeah. coming so back. So Carl, we were actually playing advantage. Uwenius, 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 to take the kick. Carl, Uwenius, there's the kick, and it's going to go out in the full. It'll come back. Option. Option. Well, he overdid Scrum. that. Scrum. Scrum on the halfway line. Arcs feed. Coming up 20 minutes into this first half. There's the mark. We're on the halfway line. Red, let's go, please. Your referee is Ian Sunderland for this clash this afternoon. Yeah. We're in our premier grade. It's Harris Dale Arcs versus the Coastal Cavaliers. Harrison Arcs 18, Coastal Cavaliers 3. It was 3 all at halftime. They lead 18-3. It's been a very strong second half by the Arcs. And now's the play. Here it is. Oh, good run. Fafita sent it back through the Leave middle. It. He found number uh, 21, Lomu. And the Coastal Cavaliers stay, have stay. now come up with the stay ball here, here, through Lakio. Cavaliers up the middle. Good offload. They're over the halfway line, the Cavaliers. Now a chance for them. Here's the big fella for the Cavaliers going through. Leave he it. releases. Watch Finds Charles. Leave. The captain, Nui Wenuis. Leave it, both of you. Paulo knew you with some strong, hard hit-ups for the Cavaliers, number one. But they're in the middle of the field now, the Cavaliers. They've reached the 30. They bring it back to New you He goes hard again. He hasn't stopped that boy. Cavaliers, out through their captain. Finds Pedrick. Ball's kicked. Arks to defend it. They pick it up. They're inside their own That's 22. Tackle! Tackle! He's called Leans tackle. on the ground. Tackle. They go down. Release. Arcs in control. It's gone up the wing. Cavaliers defending. They want to keep the arcs up here. Good hard hit. Olsen Butler. Geez, that's some hard hit ups today. Goes back out through the back line. Through for feeder. Dixon with it, he went down. He's Levi Ave. He's been strong today, up the middle. Arcs in control through Black. Advantage offside, 21 Sends it out seven. through Joe Bay, who's just come on. Oh, good run. No advantage for the offside, 21 there. and 7. Thanks, Brian. So penalty to the arcs, middle of the field, 30 metres outside their own try line. I'm off. Charles. Charles, this man and this man. Okay, so I think the referee's called time. Now he's I'm called their captain over again. He's not happy. Go. Stop it now, okay? There's some discipline occurring here. Oh. The referee giving it to uh, okay, the time Coastal on. Cavaliers. Offside. Scrum called. Now, just remember, that today's today's game is uh, they're playing for the There's Cooper Sul Sullivan Shield, affectionately known as the the Traitors Shield. I don't know where they got that from, but it is <laughs> it is the Cooper Sul Sullivan Shield. And uh, so far, the arcs look like they have that in their their hands. Fine. But who knows what happens in this last Set. 15 or so minutes of this game. Coastal Cavaliers need to bounce back. Oh, he's been strong today for feeder, solo for feeder. Nice That's a ball. Ball. Arcs with the no. ball. They're on the 40, they get the penalty. Well, there's been, entry. there's certainly been a few penalties. There's certainly been a few penalties against yeah, go ahead. the Coastal Cavaliers. Here they go again. Oh, big Gershon Adams. 
He's already had a try today. He's been Ball's in the thick there. of things all day. He sends the ball right up the middle. Fafita gets it and he switches the play. He sends it back out. Gillingham had it and he kicked. No, he's not on the ball. He's not on the ball. And it looks like Coastal Cavaliers have come up with the ball. They need to create something. Side. Yeah, arcs over Side the entry. top. No good. He's not happy with that. There's your mark. So the... 17 minutes. So the Coastal yeah. Cavaliers come up with the ball. They've got the penalty. Favourite. Uh, the favourite. The uh, captain. Charles Nui when Hewis kicks for touch. Over the halfway line. Jeffrey Ward will bring the ball back into play for the Cavaliers. Time off. Subs. And they create a chance now. Now we've got a sub. Oh. So who's going on? Number three, Russell Egan Four. comes on for the Cavaliers. Uh, Just need to see who's again, going off. I can't tell. But Egan comes on Substitution for the Coastal for Cavaliers. One number's off, mate. Okay. How long? Well, he said a number. Six and a half. 16 and a half minutes right. called. Time's on. Did not see who came off, but Egan's on. Ward we'll bring it back into play, and the Arcs get it. Strong in the ruck. Advantage. Oh, Cavaliers no not happy. They're strong in defence. They've sent the, the Arcs way. back. Ball goes to ground. And the Cavaliers have come up with it on the far side of the field. Brings it back in. Through Rapatini. He's had some good hard runs for the Cavaliers. Can they create something here? Goes out through Petherick James. Finds the winger. Brandon Steele, he's been strong today. Arcs in defence, they're strong. Cavaliers, there's the release. Steele sends it back in. Coming back for over here. Hold, 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 man. And he's taken the penalty back to the far side no of the arms. field. And kick for touch will take place through Matthew Griffith. He finds about 10 metres. So he sends his team up okay. to the 10 metre, just outside 10 metres of the arcs try line. They'll bring the ball back into play through Jeffrey Ward. And the Cavaliers have a chance to atone. Time off. Time off called again. What number is it, Brian? Our clock yeah. says 27 yeah, okay, minutes. We're playing on. And you time could on. Playing on. probably add a couple of He's minutes onto that, but Ball. referee now called time on. Ward to bring it in for the Cavaliers. A combined Mandra and Rockingham side. And today they play for the Cooper Sullivan Shield. Here's the throw. Arcs have dominated this half. Three all at half time. And now the Coastal Cavaliers. Stay there, please. Wait. They have their chance. They're in control. Ball comes out of the ruck. Through the big fella. Help, help, help. Another attack there. No, he's back. back in there. Coastal Cavaliers throwing everything at the arcs. They want to go over. Yet to score a try today. Back out to the wing. Good defence by the arcs. Strong defence there. Hold there, please, Red. Russell Burgess. Cavaliers bring it back. They might need to create an overlap. No, stay out. Here's their overlap. The cover defence is strong by the arcs. Yeah, yeah. Ten metres out still. Arcs holding them. Cavaliers throwing everything at them. Overplays the run. And the arcs get the penalty on their own ten. Finds touch just over the halfway line. Sends the ball straight up the field. Well, nice kick. Tommy Fafita Tovu gains 45 metres for the Arcs. He's the line, mate. Well, the Cavaliers, they, they had their chance. Up here, bro. 
And Ben Tata comes on. He's replacing Nelly Ave. Number 14 comes off. He's had a good game, Ave. A lot of metres. Very strong today, Ave. Very impressive. Now here's the arcs in attack again. Option. As number 20, Blue Benny Tata comes on. From for his uh, premier grade clash today. Gets a chance. He played a good Prominent. game in the uh, seconds. In the reserves. Give him a bit of, give him, take a bit of space. Yeah. 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 Crouch! Bind! Set! Hold! 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 Open! 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 Scrum on the halfway line in favour of the Cavaliers. They win it. They bring it back. Out to their winger. Finds Tawati and he gets taken out. Touch. Strong defence, Ben Tata. Just come on the field. Also assisted there by Gresham Adams. He's well. been strong today. He's been everywhere, the big fella, Adams. Oh, they've come up with it. Matthew Griffith came up with it for the Cavaliers. And now the Arcs have to defend again. Nuyu. Nuyu sends it out. He's back out there. Alalo, Alalo with a hit. Comes up. Rapatini with it. He goes up the middle. I've got one. A lot of yelling going on out there. Comes through Likio. Leave it. Cavaliers in attack on the 22. Can they create something? Ark strong in defence. Gee, you've got to give it to them. You. That was Olsen Butler with a strong hard tackle. Number one offside. Now he's called Levi Avey offside for Harrisdale Arks. And the kick for touch by Charles Huey Wenhuis. Yeah. 15 metres out. Oh, sub. Time off call. Another sub. Okay, guys, we have an injury here. I see it. Now, coming on, it looks like number 26. Selwyn Carney coming back onto the field. I'm just... Who's come off? Here we go, guys. Jamie Nixon, I think it is, number two. He's come off the field. Hemi Tuiavi has... Come off the field. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And replacing yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Haki Toki, number 16. Yeah, is he good to go? Or? Haki Toki. Yeah. Yeah. Referee waiting to call time on. It's been a very entertaining second yeah, half. Three all at half time, as I said. Harris Dial Arks, 18. They lead the Coastal Cavaliers, three. Coastal Cavaliers to bring the ball back into play through Jeffrey Ward. They get their chance here. Can they create yeah, something? The Arcs defence has been strong. It's been a it's been a fantastic game, very enjoyable. And here's the throw. Ward to bring it back in. Coastal Cavaliers come up with it. Good strong hey, run. Seven, eight, quite eight. catch who it was. Ball needs to release. What's happened? I think Arcs have picked it up. No, it's come back out. Release! Advantage, neck roll. Number one, was it? Back out through the back line, knocked on. No advantage. So it'll come back. It'll be a scrum feed, I'd say, to, or a penalty. Time off. The Coastal Cavaliers. Time off, time off. Time it's off. called time off. Palaylo knew you. Now they're looking for a okay, strong yeah, ruck yeah, get, to run the ball time. through. Can they hey. get this over the line? Here they go. Arcs need to defend. They do not want to concede a try. They've been strong in defence, the Arcs. Cavaliers pick the ball up. It looks like... Okay, release! Alaylo, Alaylo with the ball. Release, Russell. Two metres out. They're right on the line. 
Again, with a good, strong push, and they score. Try to the Cavaliers. Well, they finally broke the defence of the Arcs. Alelo, okay. Alelo sent the ball through first. Uh, nine minutes. And then the Coastal Cavaliers have scored. I'm just trying to see. About nine minutes. Nine. So they finally break the duck. In the, I, here in the second half, off, 34 time, minutes so. in, there will be some extra time. I just got to pick up who scored this try. It's 18 to 8 with the kick to come. You okay, mate. And Palu Nuyu has scored the try for the Cavaliers. He was supporting Alelo Alelo, who went through first, and then Nuyu came up with the ball. He's been strong in attack. He's been strong in defence. He's been brilliant today. Very impressive, uh, Palo knew you. He's been everywhere. And now the kick. Matthew Griffith. One attempt today. Successful. Here he goes. He's a nice kicker. He's got... Oh! Just drifts it away. And it scrapes the post. And he misses. So it's 18-8 the score. Eight. But still oh. only 10 points in it. Now, Joseph Puapu Amay has come on for the Cavaliers, but I didn't quite catch who came off, so they have had an interchange. But number 21, Joseph Puapu Amay comes on. So we're up to about 36 minutes on our clock. There will be extra time. So I would say close to eight or nine minutes to go if... The Coastal Cavaliers score again. Game on in the next five minutes. Release. Here we go. Cavaliers with the ball. They send it up to their own 22. The kick was long by the Arcs for the kickoff after that try. It's 18 Harrisdale Arcs. Coastal Cavaliers eight. Penalty to the Cavaliers. Now they'll kick for touch and send it up the field. Referee hasn't said what the penalty was for. Offside. It was Calder. He points to Ben Calder. Says he was offside. Walks back shaking his head. Ball goes over the halfway. Nice kick. Good meterage. Where's that? Sends it up. Hey, five minutes inside. Uh, in five minutes. Five metres inside the half. That of the Harrisdale Arcs. And the throw will be taken by Jeffrey Ward. He's not. He's handed the ball over to number 21, who's just come on. Joseph Puapu Amay to take the throw in. Puapu Amay throws it in. Oh, good, good ruck. Nice ruck work there by Van der Hayden. He's been good in the ruck today. He's been brilliant. Goes out to their back line, see if they can create something. Coastal Cavaliers in attack. They're on the 40. That are the arcs. Here they go. Good hard hit up there by Rapatini. Some good runs. Arcs offside. Will they take the tap? Yui Wenhuas kicks for touch. And what's happened in turn? Two penalties have sent the Cavaliers right up the field. They're now 10 metres like out in attack, please, and the Arcs need to defend. See what happens here for the Cavaliers. Arcs have been strong this half. Three all at half time. It's now 18-8. What a great game this has been. Out here in the southern suburbs of Perth. Out here at Harrisdale. Here we go. There's the throw. By Puawapi. Uh, Puapu May, sorry. Strong ruck work by the Cavaliers. Good defence by the Arcs. Crowd getting into it here. Oh, it comes out. Who's got the ball? I think he's gone over. Release! One metre out. Someone's called he's over. There's a lot of talk going on. What's the ref want? Arcs have come up with it. Seven offside. And a penalty. Well, the Arcs came up with the ball. I'm not sure what was going in there. But, gee, that was strong by the Cavaliers. Two penalties have brought them straight up the field. And now the Arcs, ready to atone, goes out through their back line. They create an overlap. They want to get the ball out. Yes, 
Gershom Adams. Oh, Harrison. Oh, bad pass. Looks like Lomu out there. Picked up by Tommy. Leave it, guys. Comes back through for feeder. Levi have a strong today. It's been brilliant. Burgess, inside pass. Finds Gillingham. Gillingham goes to ground. Picks up for feeder. There's the release. Burgess is in there. So too is Calder. Calder sends it out the back line. He finds Joe Bay. Joe Bay sends it out. Tommy Fafita Tovu looking for the Knock catch. On, a touch. Scrum or line out, Charles. Is it Sorry? Misled pass on, goes out scrum. just inside the halfway line. Knocked on into touch scrum option. In the arc's halfway Johnny, you know line. Do, eh, and the Cavaliers get another do. chance. Well, we're up to 40 minutes, so I'd say there's yeah, they, only a few minutes scrum. to go. It's been a very strong second half by the arcs. It's 18-8, 10 points in it. Closing minutes of the game. Yeah, you call it. You have an option. Scrum or liner? Which do you want? You call scrum already. Scrum. So scrum called. Sorry, scrum called. Another in the change. Matt Sims for Coastal Cavaliers. Matt Sims, number 22. About to come onto the field. Just see who comes off. There are only minutes left in this game. Referee calls time off. Now there isn't in the change. Or but, yes, there is a sub about to take place. Decision, over. guys. Okay. Okay. No sub. Time back on. Time back on. Okay. So there's no substitution. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, Two minutes to play. Looks good Sorry, for the Arcs. They lead 18, eight. Ten point spread. Crouch. You're just joining us. Arcs 41-15 over the Cavaliers Fine. in the third grade. The dying minutes of this first grade clash. Second grade, the Cavaliers 46 over the Arcs 19. And it's 18-8. Arcs in control. Cavaliers with the ball. Here we go. Big deep. Oh, error. Ball's gone forward. Well, the Cavaliers had a chance there. Marcus here, guys. And there'll be a scrum. A few metres in. Prop. Crowd getting very boisterous here in the dying minutes. As the scrum packs right in front of the crowd. Scrum about to pack. Crowd boisterous, dying Crouch. minutes of the game. Bind! Set! Brian Black about to feed the scrum. Looks like an arcs ball. Good strong attack there. Oh, it's picked up by Calder. Goes down the wing. Goes to ground. Burgess in there. He's been everywhere today. Black sends it out. Been strong today, Olsen Butler. Now out to the back line. Gershom Adams. Tommy Fafita Tovu out in the wing. Ball comes back. Fafita. Calder. Black. Fafita. Harrison Hall is in there. You got back up again, mate. Reset! Ball, please. Opportunity to go quick. Arcs over playing in the ruck. And Cavaliers to make some ground here. Dying minutes of the game. Dying minutes, should I say.
Okay. Time off. Time off called. Not long to go. Yeah, it's just a couple of players down. Now, I assume Ward will bring the ball back into play for the Coastal Cavaliers. 18-8 the score. This might be the final oh, score. Fine. Referee having a chat to a player. Not sure what that's for. Gee, it's been a great Last game. Play. Fantastic Last game. Play. Three all at half time. If you missed the first half, gee, you saw a strong half. No, mine. Now Ward about to bring the ball back into play. In please, Blue. In please, Blue. No, it's not Ward. They're over the line. It's New Year who brought the ball back in. It's been intercepted by Lumu. Lomu. And he sends it out to Tata. He goes to ground. Arcs in attack. Solo for feeder. Inside pass. Drop. Well, that would have been that would have been a lovely try if it played off. There's full time. Well, there we have it. Full time. Harris Dale Arcs 18 over the Coastal Cavaliers 8. It's been a great game. Going through the Cavaliers, knew you was strong. Ward, um, Town Row it was early in the game was strong. Both the uh, Petherick boys were good. Vander Hayden, good for the Cavaliers. Strong game, of course, by Matthew Griffith. Um, Brandon Steele out on the wing. Uh, Alelo, Alelo, late in the game with some strong, hard hit-ups. But they only scored one try through New U. And uh, good, good try late in the game, which gave them eight points after the kick in the first half by Griffith. Four harris arcs start at the top of the page. Ave, strong try. Big Selwyn Carney, number 26, was strong. And you go through, you look at uh, Gershom Adams was strong. Or a good game. Um, Burgess, he was everywhere. He was fantastic. Ben Calder was strong all day. Ryan Black was in the thick of it all day. He was a good, strong half player. Fafita Tovo, strong on the wing. Uh, nearly created something. One kick from three attempts. Also, Hol uh, Olsen Butler, he was great. Lomu, one of the best, I'd say, on the ground for Harrisdale. He was fantastic. Joe Bay came on late, played strong, and uh, go down to the bottom. Sola Fafita was strong, also out on the wing. Look, fantastic game. I enjoyed it. Three all at halftime. Finished up 18 points to eight in favour of the Harrisdale Larks. I'm Bomber Thompson. Thanks for your company out here at Harrisdale.